Hello, today we're going to be learning how to make this initial necklace. Um, we're going to be using these aluminum two hole circle pieces. As you can see, the holes are near the top, which give it that cute little trendy look and connecting them versus them being right up across from each other. Um, we are also going to be needing one of our pre-cut 18 inch necklaces with a three inch extender. We're going to be using our stainless steel components, the six millimeter jump rings. We are using the flush cutters to cut the chain along with you're going to need some chain nose pliers. All right, let's get started. So first I am going to go ahead and cut this chain. I'm going to keep it fully extended um, and then I'm just going to go straight to the middle and here is where you're going to want to take your flush cutters and just snip off. Oops, maybe I didn't get it there. No, I did. Just snip off one of the rings. Do make sure you have it centered to your neck. I am keeping it fully extended here, but if you're going to shorten it or anything, you'll want to center it to that. All right, now we're going to take our three pieces here. I am going to actually do one that just says Pacific Northwest. So I am going to grab the P of the Willow Signature Lowercase Set. This is a signature set by Impress Art, so you are able to use it on stainless steel. And then you're just going to want to center it on your stamping blank. As you can see, it's all centered on just one good pound of a hammer. Here, you're not going to need any of your stamping guidelines unless you're doing larger names. Um, if you're not comfortable with getting it somewhat centered, then I do suggest using the stamping guidelines. Oops, I hit that a little too hard. You can tell I hit that a little bit too hard because it actually kind of pushed the aluminum a little wonky there. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these in before I get them all connected. I did forget to mention, if you have not used Impress Art stamps, they are gonna have an engraving on them. And you, when you're stamping, you're gonna want that engraving facing you. So that's gonna put your letter or your, um, designs in the correct position. Okay, when it comes to the enamel marker, it only fills in where the impressions are, so you can easily blot it and just wipe it off. Now, if it's not staying in your engraving, your impression, then um, that can mean two things. You're wiping too soon the enamel off, or you are not stamping, having a deep enough impression when you're stamping. If you're having a problem with the impression not being deep enough, I do highly suggest taking a blank bracelet bar and going and just stamping that, the whole alphabet. It gives you a feel for each of the letters and how hard you need to actually be hitting with the hammer. So now we're going to be taking our stainless steel jump rings. I can get them open. I am sorry, I do not have two chain nose pliers today with me for connecting these. So you're going to just open your jump ring. Start with your first letter. Do it on the inside hole, so the one that's not going to be connected to the chain. And then you're going to connect your next letter. Make sure it's facing up. And 
then you're just gonna close it. This is much easier to close jump rings when you have two chain nose pliers, so please bear with me. If you're doing three initials, you are going to need four jump rings for this project in your last one. Again, make sure it's oops upright. And that they're all facing the same direction. Like that. Now I'm gonna connect the chain to our project here. I'm going to start with the P. I'm going to open up another jump ring. I'm going to connect the chain necklace. And then I'm going to connect. Oops. I'm going to connect the P. So that side will be connected. And now we're just gonna connect that W. Realistically, you don't have to just do a um, initials. You could do name, you could do phrase. I just think the initials are just super cute. And then if you wanted, you could attach like little crystals to it, but I just love the simplicity of this and how simple it is to wear every day. Thank you for joining us and I hope you love the project.